Hi, my name is Darren Hartwell, and on behalf of the National Tractor Pullers Association, I would like to congratulate and welcome Steve and Stan Blagrave, the 2018 NTPA Grand National Super Stock Diesel Champions with the Red Horse out of Ackerley, Texas. Gentlemen, congratulations. Thank Steve, Stan, Thank you. good job, guys. So this is your third title um, with us since 2002. You won your first one. So how does it feel to get number three? Uh, they're, they're all special. Okay. You know, uh, it seems like uh, none of them are easy, uh, but this is definitely the most special one because it's the latest one. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Now, um, you guys share the driving duties. How, how do you guys decide who gets to drive when? Well, I guess we go from like year to year. Uh, okay. we, we, we drive the whole weekend. Okay. You know, like if we go to Bowling Green, we'll stand, we'll drive, you know, both sessions okay like wherever we go and usually if we go to like if I drove at Bowling Green one year well yep. he'll drive at Bowling Green the next year so okay. we just kind of swap out like okay that. all right cool now you guys are second generation pullers how long I know your dad started and we'll get to the third generation here in a couple minutes yeah. so how long ago did your dad start pulling and how'd you guys get into the sport as a family and I guess uh, Texas tractor pullers kind of got started back in the early 70s 71 okay. 72 okay and uh, it was an NTPA member state at that time, and Daddy was on the board of TTPA in Texas, you know, kind of got that started at that time, too. Okay. And then sat on the board with the National Tractor Pullers, you know, as far as with Texas. And uh, then that's when he got into it down there and got a tractor started, and a neighbor boy helped, helped him with it and drove, and then we come in, drove, started driving later. So. I guess early 70s is when Daddy kind of okay. started. Okay, okay, and that, has it always been a diesel super stock, or? Well, it's always been diesel. Okay. Uh, you know, okay. we started out with a stock tractor. I think the first first pass I made down on the track was on 1206. Okay, okay. So, one that we had at home, and, but it's always been diesel. Nice, nice, and how long ago, or how old were you guys when you started pulling? <clears throat> I think I was uh, 12. Okay, how about, about, about the same. Right. Okay, all right, great, great, and it's built into this. So I mentioned the third generation. So Steve, your sons, Sean and Tyler, pulling a two-wheel drive, yeah. and they've been playing with that for a long time now, kind of building up. This is their first year in Grand National. They finished second in Grand National points. So yeah. that, that's got to make you guys proud to see oh, the yeah. next generation. Yeah, it's that. been really neat. You know, the two-wheel drive deal at home, they, they, uh, there's been kind of a spinoff of the TTPA. They call it TTTPA, okay. Texas Truck and Tractor Pullers Association, and they run a two-wheel drive class that has the same rules <laughs> pretty much is what the Grand National rules are. And so about seven years ago, we decided to buy the two-wheeler and it fit right into the program and we were able to go to some pools there close to home and, nice. and that worked nice. really well for Sean and he got started and then Trevor started driving about three years ago. Nice. And uh, so that that's really worked well in our program and it was really neat to see them do yeah. good yeah. this year. Yeah, and you guys have done well with the two-wheel drive yourselves. I mean, various events and yeah. select events, you guys have done a, a great yeah. job with that as well. So, um, tell us, now, being from Texas, right, everyone knows it's a long drive out of Texas to some of the, the Grand National and Regional, or Grand National events you come to. What is the closest pull to your house? I'd have to say Chapel Hill, Tennessee, probably would be, you know, closest, and it's, it's 900 miles. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. So, that's a major commitment, you know. Tell us how you guys decide to make that commitment to come every year and you know yeah. chase the Grand National points and what it takes back home to do that. It takes a lot of help from our you know family and friends, our wives. You know that they're 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 supportive. I guess you know I, I don't you know they're they're ready for us to be done by the end of the season. You know right. they're supportive of it. And then uh, dad's at home. You know mom and dad. You know they're supportive and stay at home and. It was dry this year and we didn't have a crop, so that's why we was both able to come this year. But normally, you know, early in the season, you know, just one of us can go, you know, just because of the crops. But being far from home is, is, is a tough commitment to make. Definitely, definitely. And, and we also have a, a man that helps us at home, Rusty Wells. Okay. And uh, he does a lot of the machine work for us and uh, helps us when we have the tractor at home. He helps us, which it wasn't home a whole lot this year, but he okay. helps us with it at home. And uh, we couldn't do it without him. But then, then the friends we have on the road too, you know, uh, I guess we've worked in everybody's shop, you know, between home and Ohio. Yeah, you know, yeah, so. this year for sure. And, and you know, they're, they're just great for us to let us 
you know, use their shops, you know, and stuff. Just open it up to us, and we can't thank them people enough that do that, you know. Right. That that's a good part of the, about the sport of pulling. You know, we talk about three generations. Talk about the friends that you make, and you know, we talk about friends and pulling, and we have friends all across the country, literally across the country, that we met pulling and. You know, if you need something, you know, everyone's very competitive on the track, but if you need something, somebody's got the part, they're going to loan it to you or let you use their shop or, you know, you need something on your motor home or, you know, you need a place to take a shower or stay a couple days, something like that. You know, it, it's just awesome, the, the connections and the friendships that you make. So what would you say was the biggest challenge on the road to this championship? Uh, I would say the five weeks we had in a row, starting at Chapel Hill and ending at Bowling Green, uh, we uh, we had trouble with the tractor at Chapel Hill, and uh, we went to uh, Larry Phillips' shop there okay. in Brandenburg. Yes. And uh, luckily he let us work there, and, and then uh, had some trouble with UPS. Oh yes, I heard getting, about this. Getting parts that was about as frustrating a weekend as we've had in a long time because uh, our parts were supposed to show. We thought being right there at Louisville, right at the hub of UPS, we wouldn't have any trouble with parts. Well, right. Uh, we uh, ended up not getting our pump and had to put a spare on and it didn't run very well. And then the next weekend we had to go to uh, back to New York and that was a long trip but you know the tractor seemed to run pretty well there. Yeah but, definitely. But uh, then back at Napoleon had some problems there. Kind of finally got it ironed out a little bit at Bowling Green but it, that, that five week stretch was as hard a five weeks as we've ever had. Okay wow wow and, and you guys did you had seven wins on the season yeah. You know, the, the, you won in Benson, you won one hook in Hutch, you won one hook at Toma. Actually, you swept Toma, winning two hooks, yeah. one hook at the North Iowa Nationals, one hook in Chapel Hill, and one in Bowling Green. I mean, that, those are the, the big ones. And, yeah. you know, so you guys really stepped up when it mattered the most. And we we're taping this um, at the end of the pull off, so there's one more to go tonight. Yeah. And uh, so hopefully you guys will do well and, and notch another one and put the, you know, Another exclamation point on the season. What what would you say, speaking of all those big wins, what would you say is the highlight of the season? I'd have to say probably Toma for us, you know, because we went out there and the tractor ran well. And then, and then on Saturday night when the tractor won the super, the super class, well, Trevor was on the two-wheel drive class next to us and won won that class, you know, so oh, I think wow. that, that, yeah. was, that was a pretty big high for us. Yeah, it was almost at that the same time too. when those two classes finished. Wow, that's so, awesome. That that's amazing. awesome. Yeah, That's very cool. So um, you guys took an early lead in Benson with that win and basically held the lead the whole season. I mean, that that's yeah. awesome to, to be able to do that. Um, who would you like to thank specifically? Oh, I, I thank everybody that helped us on the road, and, and I, I'm scared to death that I'll forget somebody if I start naming them, but uh, Larry and Brandon Phillips, we worked at their shop, uh, Mason City Tire and Equipment in Rockwell, Iowa. Okay. You know, <clears throat> we got really lucky there uh, because we broke Thursday night at Rockwell, and that was an unusual pull because we ran on Thursday and Saturday night. Okay. So we had an extra day there to, to yeah. try to fix, which was lucky for us, but we didn't intend to break. But uh, they, they opened their shop to us and let us, you know, wow. work all night in there and just turned it over to us. That's awesome. And then uh, who else did we? we? We went in shops all over the place this yeah, year. Yeah, we abused everybody. <laughs> we had friends when the season started. Uh, the Corzines, you know, they helped us out great, you know, during the summer getting the two-wheeler around, you know. Uh, Mike and Sally Beck, we worked Burge. in their shop. Yeah. Uh, Burge. Steve, Steve Burge, we worked at his shop. Okay. So we, we uh, like I say, we... We abused all of our friends this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now's a good time. You want to name names, family members you want to thank, and you know, uh, um, any part suppliers, you know, those types of things too. Well, my wife Tracy, she stayed out with me more this year because our kids are in college or married now, and yeah, and so she was able to stay out with me and supported us a lot. And then, like Stan said, my mom and dad, you know, they're at home taking care of things and good. So, yeah, my my wife Carla, you know, she. She's been great. She says when we're through pulling, we're going somewhere without the tractor. <laughs> she too. And then, uh, like Steve said, Rusty Well at the shop helping us there. Uh, we just had a lot, a lot of help. And then, then Hypermax Engineering has been great with us this year. Lemke Cylinder Head, Robbie Lemke, he's helped us out a lot. We've had a lot of trouble with Cylinder Heads, and he's yeah. been right there to, okay. you know, help us get back going again. So yeah, and it worked really well. He was right there when we needed him, you know, whatever time of day it was, and he got it going. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, Robbie knows what it's like. He's 
yeah, yeah. making yeah. The, the chase as well and won a couple of grand national titles too. Yeah. So and half match engineering of course like Stan yeah, Mason Knight. Legends in the sport. Yep. Yeah. So it, <clears throat> other than the little glitch with the pump not showing up at Brandenburg, well, uh, every, everything just went really good. Good, good. Well, you know, you guys making that commitment from Texas and the way you represent yourselves in the sport is just a testament. You know, you guys are very professional, always open, honest, helpful, and, and professional. So, Thank appreciate you. it. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks, you. guys.